Okay. La Veranda. By yeah, I like this draw. This is recent cigar that I've been reviewing. This is one of the better draw. And the 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 bonya is going down. I want to like see how both of them go down a little bit. How the cedar coming out, the the floral coming up a little bit. Ban. Which I don't know what to say about this ban. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today we have another cigar that I'm very not familiar about. So this cigar is called La Veranda by Crownheads. Okay. La Veranda by Crownheads. I'm gonna try to move this microphone back even more to see if you guys can hear me. If you guys cannot hear me, I'll just I readjust it because it's so in a way every time. So in a way, okay. So hopefully you guys can hear me the same way as usual after I move my microphone all the way there. And I think I'm talking long enough. If not, then I just had to readjust my volume and um, post work, post work. Okay. So this is uh, number 50, which is, I believe somewhere between, and this is closer to Corona actually. Five and three eighths by 50. Okay, made by Ernesto Perez Carrell, EP, EPC. Um, do, 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 what other information? It's one of their most expensive cigar in the Crown Heads, I guess. So this one is eighteen forty MSRP. That's kind of crazy. Wow. Okay. Box looks kind of normal. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's see. What is the... Blend. Okay. So, the wrapper is Nicaraguan Shade Grown Wrapper. Uh, and the binder is also from Nicaragua and the filler is from Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. And all the filler tobacco are aged at least three years. Well, I, I start to like kind of have problem with them saying that it's aged three year, four year and stuff like that. They are all aged somewhat like telling you aged by three years doesn't tell me anything. You know, come on, I go out and buy basic whiskey. An entire bottle for $40, that's aged for eight years. So, you know. Anyways, let's get started with this thing. From the look of it, it's a very normal matte with slight, slight little sheen to it. Look to it. So, a little bit sheen, but not very, not very oily. Not very oily is what I'm trying to say. Shiny, but not oily. Not very oily. Obviously, it's Chinese oily. Uh, the bottom foot band is just a crown head band that I think it's okay. It's not nothing to rave about, particularly. Uh, The smell is just bonya, like old box and bonya smell. Okay, let's get a cold draw, dry draw, cold draw. Cut. Oh, 
Oh, the dry is good. The dry is good. Leathery. Leathery, a little bit earthiness and sweetness. And while I'm, at, I, while I'm this, I think I forgot to mention, this thing is provided to me by Roger, Walking Man Cigar. And this is one of the things he provided. I think he also provided to uh, Eric. And I saw Eric smoking it. So I was like, oh, you know what? I want to smoke that too. And it just happened in the back that he had one of these too. So I'm going to smoke one of these. Yeah, it's leathery. It's hay. All right, all right, all right. Let's get started. Almost there. All right. Let's go. Cedar, Bongya, Hay, Grain, Mineral, Slight Pepperness, Earthiness. A little bit of mustiness. Very, very little bitterness. Chili pepper. Yeah, I like this draw. This is recent cigar that I've been reviewing. This is one of the better draw. That's what I got so far. Nothing different yet. So let me smoke one third. And I'll be right back. Why am I that? Might as well check the volume. Be right back. Okay. So I just did with one third. Basically, as I smoke the fruit one third, the taste gets more and more, I would say, barnyard like. A um, little bit of wet taste, a little bit of leather. And now it's going into the second third and is. Um, Oh, it burned a little bit funny, but it's not too bad. It's getting sweeter. At the end of that barnyard flavor, it starts to have some floral, some mineral, like metallic taste, and some... Some sort of sweetness. Some sort of sweetness. And then ends with some pepper on the retro hill. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. So far, so good. I don't know if it's worth that price tag, um, but right now, so far, so good. All right, so we'll see where that goes. I, I, I do want wishing that, okay, now that the, the leather is chilled down, uh, the leather is coming up and the, 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 the bonya is going down, I want to like see how both of them go down a little bit, have the cedar coming out, the, the floral coming up a little bit, and see where that goes. Right now, the strength is about medium. Okay, medium. So, let's smoke one third, and we'll see where that goes. Be right back. Okay, second third. You know, the flavor starts to get very confusing. It tastes floral. It tastes dust. Like, has that dust feel. It reminds me of dust. And it still have that barnyard. And it has a little bit of fruitiness of some sort. I don't know. And then the rice gets all covered up by some pepper. The second third wasn't very good. Wasn't very good. First third was interesting. Second third wasn't very good. I think the combination wasn't that good. But draw is still good. Smoke up was still good. The burn is actually not bad not once I fixed it. Um, but yeah, and I think the, the strength ramped up. Now, now it's medium plus to a full. I think closer to medium plus. Feels like. So, yeah, it's, it's ramped up. I don't know what it's trying to do right now. It's just kind of confusing. And then we have this um, band, which I don't know what to say about this band. 
it's cool, but it's it feel vintage. It feel old. It feel not modern. It feel I don't want to say lazy, but it's kind of lazy. You put a logo there. It's like, oh, let's fill the right the rest of the space with lines. And and it's just it doesn't feel like if you want to try to make a premium cigar, right? Like you got lazy by just putting a logo and just dots and then logo and just lines. It's just uh I feel it's kind of lazy. Doesn't feel premium. Sorry, but no. All right. So yeah, let me finish last stir and let's get back to see whether or not this is worth the money. If this doesn't get better, it's not. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so I'm done. Um, last stir is not very interesting. It's not. So... It has a little bit of flour dough taste to it. And the sweetness came at the end of that dough. So just imagine yourself, like, you know, get some flour and get some water on it, roll it into a dough and just eat, like, taste that raw dough. That's how it tastes like. And I have a little bit more sweetness to that. And that's pretty much it. And it has a little bit of floral note here and there. And on the retro hill, sometimes you get a little bit of dry peanut shell uh, kind of essence to it. And that's pretty much it. But for them to charge 18 bucks for this cigar, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's somewhere between $12 and... I don't want to go too high. 12, 12 to 14 12 to $14 ring cigar. And that's the highest I can get. That's the highest I can get for the cigar. Uh, go, it's very near full strength. I, I think at the end, I, I think it's closer to a medium plus. But it's very close to full strength. Um, in terms of the cigar strength. So, either way. Big thanks to Roger. Uh, Walking Man Cigar. For providing the cigar to me so I can try it. It's interesting. But interesting does not mean it's good. So uh, with that price range, if I bought it, I would be a little bit disappointed. But if I bought it at $12 or $13, I'd probably go like, ah, it's interesting. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, if for those people who want to taste what dough tastes like, um, go try the cigar. <laughs> but if it doesn't, I'll just skip it. I mean, uh, Crownhead tried, but then Crownhead is not known to make some crazy expensive luxury highest end cigars so I'm, I'm i'm not too surprised about that right so in that case this is the the review for the cigar and um i hope you guys like it if you like it like subscribe comment and uh share and um i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>